Uh. Right. Oh, got it. <laughs> the good thing is it ain't coming off. <laughs> Tu hea ki te rangi, tu hea ki te whenua, tu hea ki te nākau o ngā tangata. Ko te mea nui, ko te aroha, tihei mauri ora. Right it in the sky, right it in the land, right it in the hearts of the people. What is the greatest thing? It is love. For the last four years at Outbound New Zealand, I've probably heard that quote over a hundred times, um, but never has it rung so true as it has today. Quinn was based in Anakiwa, which a lot of you probably know, it's pretty isolated, not a great place for meeting people. Quinton was, yeah, you could say he was probably down in the dumps a bit. Lost in the wilderness, you were a revelation. Then one day he phones up and he's buzzing. What's going on, son? He goes, oh, I've met this gorgeous girl. She's absolutely stunning. Oh yeah, how did you meet her? Oh, on Tinder. Oh, oh shit. What can I do? I try to hold it back. I won't make it last. Oh, I know it's true. I never stood a chance. Your love is like an avalanche. And when Quinn came onto the scene, I was quite curious but very excited for Katie, of course. Quinn's got a great head on his shoulders and he was smart enough to, to cast his net far enough out of Anakiwa to find uh, the awesome wahine that is Katie Bell. I knew he had to be pretty special to have won her over and I soon learnt why. Quinn's an outdoorsy guy with a love for adventure and a willingness to give everything a go. Quinn had definitely landed on his feet. He was truly in love and there was definitely a lot more going on with this whole deal than uh, access to 3,000 acres of hunting land. <laughs> Everyone keeps bringing up the term adventure and from my side, knowing Quinn really well, Katie, um, whether you like it or not, your life's going to be an adventure from now on. we got will only keep getting better oh, what can I've watched Katie grow up over the years into the beautiful woman she is today. I couldn't be prouder of the person she's become. In you I have found not just a partner, I have found undoubtedly my best friend, my adventure companion and my person to share Sunday morning coffees in bed with. My dance partner in the living room and my safe haven. I promise you will never be the woman loved behind closed doors, but the one I walk hand in hand down with in the middle of the busiest streets kiss on the top of mountains and introduce to everyone as my beautiful loving wife. I can't wait for this next chapter where you continue to show me what your definition of an adventure is. You are the most kind, compassionate, loving, undeniably wonderful person that I've ever met. You show up no matter what and have never stopped showing up for me throughout the entirety of our relationship. When I cannot get outside of my own head, you come and hold my hand in the dark and guide me to the light at the end of the tunnel. I promise to make you laugh and smile every day with the cheekiness that you love. But my most important vow to you is that I will love you. I choose you now. I choose you tomorrow. I choose you forever. Oh, what can I what do? What is your definition of adventure? These few simple words on my Tinder profile got your attention once, so I thought I'd try them again, as I've undeniably started the best adventure I've ever been on. A ship is safe in its harbour, but that's not what it's built for. Being with Quinn, you'll be safe at home, but when you're out and about, you're going to have a lot of fun. 
Howdy y'all, checking in from Ben the Farm again, how it going? Detroit Quinn is a farmer. This paddock of his called Swamp. Named the corn leaf because there's a swamp right there. And I reckon, I reckon he would go very well at it. So, how do like we might get a little bit stuck today? This little tractor can't do it. You know, we got the half. The half can't do it. You got the grader. The grader can't do it. You got the dozer. The dozer can't do it. Oh, shit. I don't know what we're going to do. Probably going to have to use a mule or something. As you can see, Quinn was making some pretty good progress. <laughs> I thought I'd finish with a wee story, and the story is when I asked Katie's dad uh, for her hand in marriage. Luckily, the first person that I talked to was Katie, and she said, don't go all soppy, dad will just get embarrassed and he'll say no. And James pretty much said the same thing. He said, well, don't do all the fluffy shit, dad hates that, just get straight to the point. Uh, so I turned to Sam and say, yeah, I love your daughter, can I have your blessing to marry you? Bugger. Probably should have done that in the paddock where I could have run if I needed to. You see, in Sam's truck, he always carries this fairly large hunting knife. Yeah. Magic in your eyes